Hello everyone, hi. Welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end and also if you are new to this channel then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, uh, today we have a topic which is uh, stocks versus shares. I mean stockholders versus the shareholders. What is the difference between them? Okay, let's let's discuss this in detailed format and let's understand the nitty gritties of this. See, there is a slight difference between the stock versus share when we talk about this two the two certificates that we see in terms of the ownership of the company or companies and we call this as the certificate of stock and we call this as certificate of shares now when an owner of the equity maintains the ownership of for a particular company we would call it as certificate of shares but an owner of equity owns when he owns a certificate of several companies we will call as certificate of stocks so we can see that uh, see the slight difference in the particularity uh, let's take an example to illustrate the stockholder versus uh, shareholder let's say there's a guy called mr treehouse and he has bought a certificate of youth inc certificate of you think and in this case we will call this as a certificate of shares and not as stocks since we can uh, see that it's mr treehouse has bought a certificate from particular company now if we say that mr treehouse owns certificates from several companies we would call them as certificate of stocks and not shares so that means we can say that the share is smaller and stock Share is a smaller unit of stock, you can say that. Since, you know, share is a particular certificate of a company, it can be issued in three ways. The first way is at the par value. The second is at premium. And the third is at discount. At par value, is this the case of, it is issued at mere mere agree. And, you know, in case of premium, in this, the, the shares is issued at above uh, it's greater than the face value and in case of the discount uh, the shares is issued uh, below that is less than the face value so the shares can also be divided into two types the first is the equity shares and the other is uh, preferred shares so as we know you know the equity shares uh, have the voting rights the equity share has the voting rights but are paid after the debt holders and the preferred uh, preferred shareholders in the preferred shares uh, shareholders get the preferential right gets the preferential rights and also get preferred shareholders over here the preferred shareholders gets uh, preferential rights and also gets paid first after the debt holders so since the stock don't mean and the share of the shares of the particular company we understand stock as a generic term let's understand this with the help of the infographics let's understand this in a detailed format the stock versus shares what is the meaning first stock means it is the larger form of the share right it's like uh, shares are the part of stock you can say and share is a smaller unit of stock stock is the larger form of share and share is a smaller unit of stock so it's quite understandable now what is the relationship with the owner see when the owner owns the share of a several company we say that the owner owns a stock and when the owner owns the share of a particular company over here several companies and over here particular company we say that the owner owns a share now the term the stock is a generic term when an owner owns a stock we cannot specify them as shares of a particular company but this over here it's specific it's related to one company it's a specific term and when the owner owns a share we can ask about a particular company but in case of stock we cannot ask about the particular company or let's take an example stock mr a invests into in, in stocks and this statement does not require any further questioning he owns a stock that's it but over here mr b has invested in shares so we ask them the next question in which company how many shares what type of shares over here we we ask the relevant information this is a generic term no stock can be compared to the automobile industry macro and micro that's what and shares can be compared to the car particular company so over here we are talking about a box and this is the pieces in the box industry and this is a particular company right so this was the uh, difference between uh, the shareholder and the stockholder now let's understand the difference the key differences the shareholder versus the stockholder the key differences see the first the stock is a generic term 
So when we mention stock, we say it like this. The investor invests in stocks share. On the other hand, in, in it's quite specific. And when we mention share, we say that uh, it's like Mr. Yu, you bought something or bought shares of T-Shop second. The stock is a macro concept and the share is a micro concept. Now, when we say a stock, we cannot specify on a particular uh, company. Like, for example, if we understand the difference between the automobile and the car. So this is like the industry part and this is the company. Third, sorry, fourth, to, to a layman who does not go into interests, you know, will, will understand stock and shares as the same thing because there is no much difference, you, you see. The stock is more of a generic in term, right? Thus, you know, it cannot be used when we talk about uh, types. However, you know, in this case of shares, we can have two types of shares, the equity shares and we have the preferred shares. And in the case of the shares, we also can... Uh, we we also can how they are issued now the the shares can also be issued in three ways par the premium and the discount so now let's get down to the conclusion after discussion of all this uh, particular thing let's understand uh, let's wrap it up in simple terms there is a slight difference between the stock and the share and to most of the investor it does not make a huge however you know when it uh, comes down to understanding both the stock and share understanding share is important than stock understanding the share will help you understand the meaning of the par value so the face value of the share and also what issued at premium and what is issued at discount. plus you will be able to understand the nitty-gritty of the scene so well stock is all about understanding an investors group of investor that has been into the stock investment so that's it uh, for this particular topic. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Thank you, everyone. Cheers.